They pay slightly more than the $5 minimum wage, but this block factory and other enterprises like it, which need manual labor, are having trouble finding workers. You've been here for many years. Would you say that labor is scarcer than it used to be? Well, I would agree. I would agree because one time people used to work for maybe a little $20, $30, and right now, um, due to the um, the um, minimum. minimum wage went up. I mean, I still know it's like a problem for um, forget uh, workers, so I don't really know what's the problem. According to associate professor at UB, Dr. Philip Castillo, it's not a problem. It's a good economic sign. It's an evidence that the job market is strong. The most recent unemployment data shows unemployment in Belize at 4%, and um, that is considered full employment. Um, so the job market is strong. And um, that is commendable. But then to keep it strong, to keep to meet the need, the growing demand for labor, I think the country has to liberalize its um, migrant work policies. Because what that does is that that introduces people in Belize who want to work. So the, Belize has jobs that Belizeans do not want for whatever reason. And then these jobs would be available for persons around the region who want to work. And I think that's, a, um, that's the blend. That's the blend that is required for continued growth. He suggests importing labor under more relaxed requirements while accepting that entry-level workers will now go to higher paying call centers. If you're looking at a student just entering the labor force and then the call center is offering $8 per hour, most likely the student would be gravitate would gravitate towards that because you're looking at eight dollars per hour in an air conditioned place and you're fairly safe and um, those are job considerations. But then there remains the other jobs, the block making and the ha the, the field harvesters that can't pay eight dollars per hour that also need labor. So a workforce with a changing demographic may be in Belize's future while accepting that many Central Americans just prefer to go right on to the U.S. Nobody wants to even come to Belize anymore. You mean the labor doesn't they, want to? They don't want to come to Belize. Why is this? Why is this? Because the U.S. is there with the doors fling wide open. When people leave the country now to go looking for, 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 for jobs, they go to the States, why come to Belize?